Hey everybody, I wanted to show you guys how to make this um, really cute home decor item with lemons using our lemon zest bundle on page 90 of our catalog. You're also going, which is right here, I'll show you, page 90, this stamp set. And then of course, if you get the bundle, it's 10% off, so you get the punch with it. And then you're going to need also the color theory, which is located on 187 of the catalog. Um, and then a frame. And I got my frame from Michaels. It's an 8x8. I think you could do anything you want. Um, and then some of the other stuff you're going to need. Uh, you're going to need some old olive card stock and some delightful... Um, oh... Old Olive and Delight, uh, Daffodil Delight is the colors I used. I think you could probably, oh, and white. Um, and then the um, framelits I used. Now you're going to shake your finger at me, but this is a retired set, but maybe you have it in your um, uh, cabinet, storage cabinets, but it's called Botanical Builders Framelit Set. And then, and that's, I used out of that, I used this little flower. So really, if you can find any little flower, Framelit. And then this little yellow guy. I'm sorry, he's not yellow yet. You'll see he's yellow. Use that little piece. Now that all came out with the Botanical Builders. And then I have a tree limb that came out of this framelit. And it is called Seasonal Layers Framelit. Now that's in our catalog. That's, that's active. So that's what I'm using on this project. The frame came from Michaels. Um... And I got it, I waited till the frames went on sale and got like four or five of them at half off. So it's really, you know, it's a $3 item, but really a cute little um, project once you get done. So let's get going. What you're going to need, um, you're going to need to take a sheet of old yellow, <laughs> old olive. And this is what you're going to need to do. You are going to need to cut three of the lemons, punch three of the lemons, and then 12 punches in the old olive, punching out those um, leaves. I cut a big strip and cut um, the leaves out. It's so much easier just because you um, can just slide it in and punch and you're not wasting a lot up there on the cutting out the lemon. So just do a little strip. All right, so you're going to punch those out. You're going to punch your leaves out. You need 12 of those. And then for the other items, the little flower, this guy, this guy, you're going to need five of this flower and five of that little yellow piece. And then this was um, early espresso. And you're going to need one of those. Okay. So that away let's get started now one of the things you want to do is um, you want to sponge your lemons with daffodil and I just lay it on here and I sponge around the edge sorry I'm jiggling you What I do there, so you're going to do that, and then you are going to take a bone folder and kind of work it just a little bit to give it some shape around the edges. And then on your um, 12 leaves, of course, you're going to sponge it. Do the same thing, kind of go around the edges. And you're going to lay it up on a pad and you're going to give it some veins. So just take a scoring tool, just kind of give it some veins going down the middle. All right, clean up the spot here. 
And so then what I did is once I got done with my little leaves, I laid out a piece of um, glue, uh, glue dot strips and I just, I put them together and then I put them um, on, see, I'll lay them up here and then I peel them off and then I put them together so that they make two leaves. Alrighty, so now with the flower, here's the little flower, hope you can see it. You just take and first of all you take your score tool you want to give it life so you kind of just poke the middle of it Then let's take a glue dot glue dot this little guy in okay and we're going to put the whole thing on a now we're ready to go ready to create the well not quite. Here is a 8 by 8 piece of, and I use the thick card stock on our thicker stuff. I, don't, I just like it better for card bases and I don't know. I just like it. Anyway, so here it is. We're going to glue up. In the middle, a piece of color theory. Then you're going to take a doily. It's another thing you need to get. You're going to set the doily in the middle, just like so. Then you're going to take your branch. Put a little a lot of this is going to be hidden. So and I always start up here in this corner up in here and let it work its way down. All right, so then. You need some dimensionals. And on the back of the lemons, I'm going to put a couple. And the first lemon I put down is the one at the bottom. And we're going to let it hang off the doily down here. Almost off the page, set it at kind of an angle. Then I'm going to grab another Put a couple of this one's going to kind of go like here. Now we can start to set our leaves. We need a leaf here. Tuck it up underneath if you want. We need a set of leaves here. And then we need some single leaves. Put some glue away here. Some single leaves like falling down underneath here. You see, I already have them all put up on tape already. Makes it so much quicker. Wait, let's not put him on because we need to get our other, let's get our other uh, lemon on there. I'm putting these things on dimensionals. Gives you a place to poke stuff underneath. And so this guy's going to go right in here. And I know there's a bunch of blank spaces, but we'll work on that. I need one here. And we need some kind of coming down the 
the limb different ways. Just use up all your little leaves, poke them in, the more the merrier. And if you have the punch, you can always go back and punch more if you feel like you don't have enough. And then your final thing is your flowers. Again, I put those on little strips. So all I'm doing is pulling them off and putting them down. I had one more, but I can't find it. I'll come back to it. So there you have it. Um, quick, simple, uh, makes a great gift. I'm going to give mine to my daughter. She's going to Italy. And I don't know if, if you've ever been to Italy, you know that Italy is the country of lemons. So I thought I would document, put a date and document the date you know, that she was over there. So, all right. Well, hope you um, it made sense to you. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to post below. Talk to you later.